Hello hackers! Welcome to the new video with Popo. In today's video, we are going to hack exploiting server-side parameter pollution in REST URL. In this lab, we have to log in as an administrator and then we have to delete user Carlet Callus. So before moving forward, guys, we have some recommendation in here. So you have to know how to identify whether the user input is included in the server side URL path or query string. And that means we are going to make a pollution attack based on what we call it the path traversal technique so if you're not very familiar with that, please go to this link and read about this topic. And also, you have to know how to discover the API documentation and how to understand it and base it your attack of the information that you're going to find. So guys, before moving forward, as you can see in this lab is an expert level. So we are not going to make just one attack. So we are going to make some steps before we will be able to connect as an administrator and then we can delete the user call it Carlos. And based on this, I'm going to show you how can this openapi.json file going to help us to find some sensitive information for the potential attack. And for some general information about what OpenAPI, you can see that the last version we have is 3.0.3. And for the definition that this file is a standard for describing the structure, behavior, and capabilities of the RESTful APIs. So guys, before moving forward, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and let's start. And uh, here we go guys, so the first step, let me go to my proxy, I'm going to use community edition, and then let's go to the proxy, enter spec twice, and go to HTTP history. So brief information about the application, you can see we don't have a lot of information in here. So my goal is to connect as an administrator, so let me go to my account. And here we go. Now in here, let me just to try to connect with the fake credentials. So let me say popo and password of hack. And let me log in and see. And here we go. Now I'm not able to connect. So let me see the post login in here. And as you can see, nothing looks interesting in here because we have the return as an HTML. And we have this user and password. So let me see the other functionality in here. We have the forget password. And here we go. Now you can recognize we found something interesting. Let me see this file GS, call it forget password. Let me make it more bigger so we can see. And here we go. Now you can see in this file we have some functionalities. Let's discover them one by one. So the first one is forget pwd ready so nothing looks interesting in here and the next one is a url encode for my data also nothing interesting we have this valid inputs and create messages so this is definitely when i submit in here and then it's going to run a post method in here so let's try it and see it in here i'm going to use popo as a username which is not exist in the database let me submit and here we go now i have a message so please check your email provided username popo doesn't exist. And this is absolutely normal. You can see we have this post method over here, so it's called it forget password. And now let me continue forward and let me see what I'm going to have. So the other one, it's display message. So this is absolutely responsible for this message in here. And then we have forget pwd ready. And here we have something interesting. You can see we have this get rest token and then it's going to validate if the rest token exists and then it's going to make window location reference which means going to redirect us to the new page. And then we have this forget password and password token and then it needs a token in here. So let me try this one and see what I'm going to have. And here we go, now we have invalid tokens. So now in here I have very good signs that this password is a token is going to be my target. So let me back in here and let me discover the forget password functionality. And here we go, so this is the post in here. Let me send it to repeater and let me analyze it. And here we go. So let me resend it again. And here we go, now you can see we have the provided username 
poo poo doesn't exist. So let me now use exists username, which is administrator. And let me see what's going to happen in here. And here we go. Now we have a result and we have the type of email. So let me try to use equal in here and let me see what's going to happen. And here we go. In here we have provided username administrator. Then we have equal doesn't exist. This is normal. Let me try to use a question mark and see what's going to happen in here. And uh, here we go. Now I do have a different kind of error. You can see we have invalid route. Please refer to the API definition. And this is very, very, very important error that tells me we have something we call it route. So if you're familiar with the path traversal, you will definitely going to try some of techniques of path traversal. And this is what I'm going to do. But before moving forward, guys, let me try to see if there is another character can return me the same error. So let me use a single quote in here. Let me submit. This one, it doesn't. Let me use the double quote. Okay, also, it didn't work. Now, let me use the dash. And let me see. And here we go. Now, I found something interesting. So, guys... It's easily you can just enumerate it with the different characters, but I'm not going to do this because I already found what I was looking for. You can see we have invalid route, so using the dash or question mark, so feel free to use one of them in this case. So I prefer using the question mark. And now I'm going to try some of the path reversal techniques and see if I able to gain some access to the directory. So let me use point then slash and let me see the results. Okay, so now let me try to remove this question mark and let me send and see. And here we go. Now I able to get some information in here. So let me retry many times in here. So let me say three times. Let me say five times. Let me say seven times. You can see I still able to get information of the administrator in here. Even that this whole string, it's not the username. So now let me use the other technique, which is double point slash, and let me see what I'm going to have in here. We have invalid route. Okay, let me try it three times. Let me see what I'm going to have. Invalid route, let me see it five times. And uh, here we go. Now I do have a different kind of error. You can see unexpected response from the API server. And then we have this HTML header, meta, test, char set, and then we have not find, which means in the backend, it gives me the way to interact with some hidden folders, but I'm using something wrong in here because there isn't administrator folder. So let me use the question mark over here and let me see what I'm going to have. I still not able to gain any access. So in here, I'm going to use this file, what we call it, the openapi.json. And let me see what I'm going to have. So I'm going to replace this administrator word with the openapi.json. And I hope that I'm able to access to this file and let me send. And here we go. Now, even when I have 500 of status, which means server error, I get some information in here. So let me just read it in here. You can see we have an expected response from the API server. Then we have this OpenAPI version of 3.0.0. So this is absolutely old version. You can see that the newest one, it's 3.0.3. .3. And then we have info of title user API version of 2.0.0. Then we have a pathos. We have API, internal, v1, user, then username, then field, and field. And we have some information in here. So this is what I was looking for. I was looking for this path. So let me just copy it from here. And let me just replace the open API JSON here. And let me see what I'm going to have. And let me send. And here we go. Now I have something very interesting. You can see the provided username doesn't exist. So let me try to use Popo in here. So this one, it doesn't exist too in the database. 
Okay, so this is very interesting, which means it take this value into consideration even when I have all this path over here. So this is a very good sign that I'm in the right position. So let me try to use administrator in here and let me see what I'm going to have. And here we go, now you can see the provided field name, which is field does not exist and cannot be retrieved. And now we have a very great error tells us that we are able to gain access to the fields. So let me try to use a username now, which is exist over here. So let me say username and let me see what I'm going to have. And here we go. Now I'm able to gain access to some sensitive information. You can see I got administrator in here. So using this path, traversal vulnerability, I'm able to gain access to some fields. So let me try to change in here and see if there is an email. And let me send. And here we go. So now I'm definitely able to gain every field exist in the user schema. So let me see if there is a password in here. So then I will be able to connect as an administrator. And here we go. Now, unfortunately, there isn't field called password. So maybe it's a pass WD. Let me see. It doesn't exist too. So maybe it's pass and let me send. And unfortunately, also pass doesn't exist. An easy way, guys, I can just make enumeration in here with very common fields. I'm not going to do this because I already have a very fruitful information. So let me back to the proxy in here and let me back to the GS file. And here we go. So this is the one. Let me scroll down. As you recognize, there is a field called the pass reset token. So let me just copy it from here and let me back to the repeater. Let me paste it in here. And here we go. Now let me submit and see. And here we go, guys. Now I get the password reset token, which means I'm able to update the administrator password. So let me back to the lab. And now let me go to the proxy, copy the URL pass. So let me copy this one. Here we go. Now let me just paste it in here. And let me go to the repeater, copy the password reset token and... Ah, sorry, guys. And let me just paste it in here and let me see the result. And here we go. Now this token is valid and I'm able to reset the password. So now let me just update the administrator's password and let me say the password of 1234 and let me confirm it with 1234 and let me submit in here. And in here, unfortunately, I didn't get any information that tells me that the password is updated. But to check that we updated the password, let me go to my account and let me try to connect as an administrator in this time. And here we go. And the password of one, two, three and four. And let me log in. And here we go, guys. Now we finally connect as an administrator. So let me do my duty in here and let me go to the admin panel. And here we go. And let me delete user call it callus. And here we go, guys. Now we finally solve the lab. So guys, I hope that you learned something new about how to make parameter pollution and how to use the openapi.json file to get some sensitive information that can help you for a potential attack. And I hope that you learn how to think outside the box so you can bypass the authentication in easy way. So guys, if you liked my video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, and if you have any question or need any help, please put it in the comments below and stay tuned for the next videos.